Hi, I'm Dave, and I'm one of Continental's long-term drivers. I have over 2 million safe miles. We're doing a training video, and today we're putting the safety department to the test. We are going to have Andrew here from the safety department do a quick walk around and show him what things to look for and answer some questions and uh, get him a little familiar with what we do out here. Make sure you know you don't see 
any cracked or broken hoses. Um, you look for look for condensation buildup. Make sure your antifreeze is good. And I don't see anything out of the ordinary here. It all looks pretty standard. But you know, you never know. Um, at any given time, you could have a you could have an oil leak or a radiator leak. Uh, and if you catch it before you leave, you're a lot safer sitting at a customer's than you are sitting on the side of the street. Okay, we just got done doing a walk around and a safety check on the truck and the trailer to make sure everything looked good. I'm going to take Andrew here and I'm going to walk him through doing a drop and hook. Okay, first thing you're going to do is, normally I wouldn't be stopped in front of the trailer. Normally when I go to do to pick up a trailer, I'm going to back up and I'm going to concentrate on my mirrors, making sure I line up with the trailer properly. And I'm going to ease back very slowly until I feel that fifth wheel touch the apron of the trailer. And you'll feel it in the truck. You'll feel that slight little nudge. Okay. And then what we're going to do from there is I will then proceed to go back which the fifth wheel is going to pick the trailer up and we're going to, and we're going to go back until the fifth wheel connects with the kingpin. Got my handy dandy gloves. We've now backed under the trailer. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna get under here and I'm gonna grab this handle. And it goes out about that far and you hear the clicking. That tells me that the jaws are good. That's the sound I want to hear. If I don't hear that sound, the first thing I do is re-disconnect, pull forward and move all over. Before we go any further, then I get under here and be careful. And you want to look straight back and you'll see the jaws, see the, bar, the metal bar going yep. across. You want to see that bar all the way across and look at the handle. You see mm -hmm. the arm of the handle, mm -hmm. you can see about, a, about an inch and a half, two inches of it. If you see any more handle than that, then it's not connected. So I always know how much handle, but you want to always get under and do a visual check. Underneath, we did a visual check, we did a little pull check. So now we know the trailer's connected. Now we're going to lift the collar. What you do here is push, push the handle all the way in, and you're going to just turn it. And as you turn it, you'll see the legs go up. Now at this point, what I normally do, I look over there. I want to make sure both legs are going up evenly. Put it back in the cradle. And now we're going to go up here. And we're going to take the airlines. Blue on blue. Blue on blue. Red on red. Nice thing about this is, these are made a little different. You cannot put this one on the red. It won't let it go. So if it's dark, well, it's hard to tell. Blue on blue, red on red, you just want to slide them in there, make sure they lock and stay. Plug in your airline. Now you're late now. Now normally I would get back in the truck, but what do I do? I always double check myself. So before we get in the truck, I always walk back here. I look at my legs to make sure they're good. I look underneath to make sure the, the pins in place. I make sure the, the handle's properly set. And I make sure the airlines and the electrics are plugged in. Alright, so we did our walk around. We checked everything over. We determined everything was safe. We hooked up to the trailer. So now we're going to go through the process of showing how to do a disconnect 
and pulling away from the trail. Ready? Ready. All right. So this would be this would be, for instance, you're at a shipper, you're at a receiver. They've got another trailer loaded for you. You've got a switch. You need to drop this one, pick up another one. We're just going to go through dropping it. So first thing I always do is. Again. If this doesn't pull out properly, then lowering the dolly legs and doing the airlines, you're just going to have to raise them back up and reconnect the airlines to get the pin to pull. So I always come out here, you're going to pull it forward till it stops, and then pull it to the driver's side, towards, towards the truck. Then you pull it out, and it's got a little gas flash. It's got like a little Z catch latch, so it's going to pull out over and up. Now the pin is all the way out in the proper position. That's going to release the jaws from the kingpin. Now, I don't do anything else next except make sure these legs touch the ground because now technically the trailer is disconnected from the truck. So the safest thing to do next is to put the dolly legs down. disconnected from the trailer. Now we just get in and go. So, what do we do next? We double check everything. We always double check. So, Alright, good job. Don't feel bad. My routine. Because at any time, either picking up a trailer during the process of picking one up or dropping one, at any time, if you hear something or don't feel like you did something right or you're not sure, you always completely stop. You stop and you want to, you want to stop before the trailer gets off the truck. So you just want to kind of look. So everything looks okay. Nothing's connected to the truck. The dolly legs are down. The kingpin is out of the jaws. So we just didn't roll forward. We didn't roll forward enough. But the but that's that's okay. The most important thing is you were unsure, so you stopped. Okay.